Hey, booze. Hey, yo. Come talk to me. This is random. Randomite. This is random. Oh, I gotta wipe my nose. Oh, this is random. Come talk to me. So, y'all, this is gonna be quick. So, I realized in my old age, this is a, I have to make a confession, right? So, I figure if I'm gonna confess to anybody, y'all, look at the way the sun is hitting my eyes. No, look at the way the sun is hitting my eyes. Hey, y'all, hey. Y'all gotta hurt me up or whatever because I can't see y'all. Hey, y'all. So, this is random. So, I realized, y'all, in my old age, I have to talk to myself. I realize I gotta talk. I realize more and more. <laughs> Let me tell y'all, when I be around other people who ain't with me, I realize how much I talk to myself when I be by myself, right? So I thought that was funny. Hey, boo. Hey, pop tart, sweet tart. Hey, boo. So I just came on here to talk about how in my old age, I realized I got to talk to myself more. I don't know if anybody else talked to themselves more in their old age. Hey, y'all. Don't mind my head wrap. I had to cover my head. And I got a crystal in here. I had to cover my head up. girl like straight like that but then also too y'all hold on let me see if this water thing will uh also too y'all i'm trying to get my phone to sit up against this water bottle also too what i realized too also those of us who have dealt with so so now my random thought is about to turn into a mental health moment right so like those of us who have dealt with um narcissists we actually y'all i'm so mad my nose my nose hairs is too long so guys y'all realize that those of us that have experienced y'all i'm out here look i got my slippers on let me show y'all ow i just ordered me something to eat i'm waiting on my food thank you Oh my God, Mr. Light. Aw. So y'all, so yeah, th um, thank you, Mr. Light. So guys, those of us that have been um, in um, relationships with narcissistic people, we actually have to heal our brains, right? So like your brain has to go through like a healing process. And one of the... Um, one of the uh, symptoms of narcissistic abuse is brain fog. I gotta drink my water, y'all. Is brain fog. So with that, because the abuse actually affects your brain. Like, it, it actually affects your frontal lobe. So it makes it hard. It fucks up your executive functioning, right? So we gotta write lists. We got to write lists more. We got to have reminders, timers, all kinds of stuff because we actually have to heal our brains after those, um, after those, um, after those, um, types of relationships. So yeah, you guys. So now in my old age, I got, I be having to talk to myself. I'll be talking to myself. I be trying to keep it all together. So yeah, um, to do lists. So you have to utilize to do lists. And when your executive functioning is kind of off, um, your your focus is off, your memory is off. What else? Focus. Focus is like the most important thing, right? So your ability to sit down, get things done, right? Um, your ability to just like um, just get everything together in an organized way, like you're gonna struggle with that. Hey. So I'm out here. I just ordered something to eat. Hey, everybody. I just ordered something to eat, and I figured I was going to come on here. I had a confession to make, so I figured if I was going to make a confession, <laughs> I may as well make a confession of Facebook. It's like, But my confession is that I realize in my old age, I talk to myself a lot. 
right? But that's a part of like keeping that shit all together. So then that turned into a mental health moment because I just wanted to remind us, um, those of us who have been in narcissistic relationships, which is a lot of us, right? Whether it's romantic relationships, whether it's um, platonic relationships, whether it's relationships with our parents or whatever the case may be, a lot of us have dealt because we are empaths. Um, narcissistic abuse, yes, Mr. Uh, Light. Yeah, I do. I'm a, I'm an expert. I was going I was going to become a narc recovery coach, but then I figured I didn't want to talk about narcissists all day cuz they're disgusting. But yeah, um oftentimes Mr. Light, a lot of us that are empaths, it, when we really look back over our life, like we've all dealt with narcissists all throughout our lives because they taught us self-love, right? And once you finally step into self-love, then you stop dating narcissists. But up until then, hell yeah, all of us, a lot of us, because we have like this narcissist, it's like this, nar they call it the narcissist empath paradigm, right? And it's like, it's a tangle, it's a toxic, it's a toxic addictive um, tango, right? But um, it's actually, us as the empaths, we, our fault in it, a lot of times is there's a lack of self-love, right? And with the narcissist, they don't have any self-love and they don't have any uh, form of self-identity. So they utilize us to vampirize off of. They utilize our energy. So, yeah, so I know a lot about um, about narcissists because I've been there um, all my life. And a lot of times we are, we are attracted to that toxic um, energy signature until we realize it. And then once we realize it, we can make the changes. Like, yeah, uh, what else you say? Mr. Light, I don't need healed. I'm a healer. So, Mr. Light, what I'm going to need you to do, I'm going to need you to go back. People always try. <laughs> you can't help me. I don't need no help, Mr. Light. I'm the expert here. I don't need no help. I don't need no help. The thing is, boo, like, if you really follow me like you say you do and you you comment on all of my stuff, like, you should know, like, you should know for a fact, like, healing is is definitely not anything that um, I need to do. Um, I'm here to be a light in the dark. I'm here to be a light in the dark because a lot of us have been trapped in um, narcissistic relationships. So, me... I just want to be able to help other people get out, understand what's going on quicker. Y'all, my eyes, yo, this sun hit my eyes. is giving me real thing. Y'all know Twin Flames' eyes change colors. So, um, so yeah, Mr. Light, if you were, like, the thing is this, like, people crack me up. People crack me up because they, they be acting like, they be acting like they all into me. But if they really watched my shit, when you really watch my shit, when you're really into me, I know it because... You talk to me different. So you asking how you can help me, like, you should know I don't need no help, boo. I don't need no help. I'm here to help those that need help and encourage those that don't need help to help people that need help. But I don't need help. That's for sure. So, yeah, y'all. Hey, Titty Bomb! Hey, boo. Hey, honey bunny. I came on here because I was saying... I came to make a Facebook confession that, like, I realized the older I get, I be talking to myself. But then that turned into a mental health moment because I'm like, yo, you know what? Like, actually, we kind of do got to talk to ourselves sometimes to uh, get throughout the day and make sure that we are accomplishing all of our goals. Like, writing lists, right? To-do lists are good. And those of us, and then I also was explaining those of us that have been in narcissistic relationships, which a lot of times, a lot of us have been, because a lot of us have been in relationships with um, covert narcs, right? So we didn't really realize that we were in a narcissistic relationship, but we were. And coming out of a narcissistic relationship, you have to heal differently. So, um, yeah, so I did a lot of studying on abandonment recovery and narcissist and all of that kind of stuff and I was going to become a narc recovery coach because it's a different type of recovery coming out of a narcissistic relationship is not like coming out of any other normal relationship like you literally have to heal again your brain literally 
has to heal. Excuse my scarf, y'all. I had to, I had to, I had to cover my head. I had to cover my head, and it's a crystal in there too. So, oh shoot, oh my God, yeah, boo, right. So I realized that a part of making sure that I stay on task, I be talking my way through it because you're um. Now, I am about, let me see, when did I get divorced? I got, we in 2021, 2019. So, I'm two years, I'm two years out. Um, yes, girl, it does. It's crazy. It's crazy. Like, you think like, oh, we just broke up. No, they just tore your whole everything apart. Like, they shred you. But then again, you know what? The good thing is, like, if you get, if you come out of the narcissistic relationship victorious, then that means you've worked on your self-love. Um, the lack of self-love is what keeps us in that relationship. The need to people please and the need to put others above ourselves. And like all of those things that we should not do. But we were raised to do it whenever we were young. We were kind of like, uh, we were, I hope my, I hope my, y'all, I don't know if my Bluetooth was on. But yeah, a lot of times like as children, like we are, we are raised, we are primed, we are programmed like more and more y'all y'all know when i get quiet y'all know when i get quiet i mean i've been studying so like oh my god god's been laying some heavy stuff on me but yeah we have a lot of programming um in us that happens um when we're children right and then also too i want to talk about i want to talk to y'all about this right um abuse whenever we're young right and I've dabbled on this. I've touched on this before. But um, that abuse that happens when we're young, whether it's blatant abuse. Because God has been dealing with me about the foster care system. Because y'all know I used to work with foster kids, right? And um, like as an earth angel, sometimes you just don't realize. Like sometimes you just like, yo, like God, I can't understand the level of evil in this world like i would hear the craziest stories about kids and stuff right so right through here god has given me a lot of answers it doesn't make it easier to deal with but he's given me a lot of eagle's eye view answers on like why things happen right so those children in the foster care system most times they always experience abuse right so abuse you guys any abuse that we experience affects our solar chakra right don't believe me think about times whenever you experience some type of uh verbal assault of some sort or uh being gaslit or something like that of some sort like those things zap our energy right um, think about the times where you had interactions with people and you felt like, oh my God, I just got done talking to them and I feel like somebody just kicked me in my gut, right? And that is an attack on your solar chakra, right? So abuse as a child attacks our solar chakra. Your solar chakra embodies your energy that helps you have personal power. It's your creative chakra. Um, it helps you create it's your money making chakra. It's your motivation chakra, right? So when we go through abuse of any sort, it affects that chakra, right? So we know when any of our chakras are affected, it plays out in our personal life, right? So I'm starting to realize that a lot of those kids that are in foster care and things of that nature, like a lot of things are... A lot of things are just a, a way bigger agenda to something else. Like, whatever is happening, like, there's another agenda on top of whatever it is that you see. Whatever it is that we see, there's a, a there's always a higher agenda. That's why I feel like people should really take the time to think about what it is that they are talking about whenever they get online. Um, and just really take the mental energy that we use for fuckery, right? And just really put it into like constructive conversations and constructive solutions about shit, right? But we spend so much time and energy on bull. That's why 
on my page, I share mental health stuff. I share positive stuff. I share my videos. Nobody say nothing. Let me throw up some ratchet meme. Yo, that joint be lit. It be lit. Because we don't spend enough time and energy on the things that we should focus our time and energy on, right? So, yeah. So, this is your mental health moment. So, I just want to let you guys know that if you've experienced abuse of any sort, whether it's in your adulthood or in your childhood, um, you really want to work on repairing your solar chakra and that's your stomach so anyway guys so what i was saying if you ever gone through some type of verbal assault or if you've ever been gaslit by somebody like think about how it is that you physically felt right because another thing that we have to remember is like the reason why we want to be mindful of our relationships and what situations we put ourselves in is because the energies and the emotions that go along with those situations they affect us physically right so you don't want to be in a situation that's affecting you physically and you not know it or just physically, period. Right. But a lot of times, like our stomach issues and people develop cancer and things like that, like we don't know where cancer came from. We don't even know what causes it. Right. I personally believe it's a buildup of toxins, toxic energy in our body. That's what I believe. Right. So you can be in an abusive relationship or just and then from a mental health perspective, um, when you look into the ACE studies, now there's scientific fact that says if you went through X, Y, and Z as a child, as an adult, you're automatically going to be more susceptible to heart disease. Like there's different statistics that put us at a disadvantage according to the things that we went through in our childhood, right? So I'm really not saying anything different. I may be saying it a little bit different, but we just have to really make sure that we are truly healing from those things because things happen to us in our childhood and we don't even realize how much it affects us now in our adulthood. And the reason why, to tie back to the solar chakra, the reason why that's so important is because you can be an adult that you didn't, you didn't realize that as a child, they systematically, your family and your friends and everybody in the web of, of, of narcissists in your life, right? Because a lot of empaths are surrounded by narcissists. Why? Because empaths have really good energy. Um, we have the ability to pick up on other people's emotions. Um, we have the ability to be loving and kind, right? So we attract people that are energy vampires, right? So we have to really make sure that we're doing our work to um, replace our energy, recharge our energy, right? Renew our energy, right? bring our energy back together because when you go through abuse as a child it fragments it actually fragments your energy so you no longer feel comfortable and peaceful and satiated in your body so that's why we drink more that's why we smoke more because we're just trying to find some level of peace but we don't realize that the reason and i'm gonna end on this we don't realize that the reason that we feel that lack of peace is because we've been fragmented our energy has been fragmented right so that's why I always encourage you guys. Um, I got albums on it, right? So that's why I encourage you guys to get into your crystal work. I encourage you guys to get into your um, energy clearing, healing, all of that stuff, right? Um, having good energy keeps you from being susceptible to dark energies, okay? So the higher your vibe, the less the less susceptible you are to negativity, attacks, and things of that nature. Um, I saw on my friends list, somebody asked the question, uh, how do you get roots off of you or something like that, right? So that says to me that, oh, my baby's texting me. Ah! So that says to me that um, people are coming to terms with some of the dark things that are being done, right? So I just want to encourage you guys to um, be spiritually protected, right? Now, I'm not going to get into everything that you should do, right? I feel like you should be led of God. Um, but I do want to encourage you guys to make sure that you are spiritually protecting yourself, right? Um, I talk a lot about energy, clearing, healing, crystals work right so i put up the information about the crystals like what crystals do what so there's certain so yeah so y'all can go to the crystal album <sighs> so go to the crystal album and that has that's gonna like there's a crystal for everything so basically there's information in there right and this is like i'm not uh 
I'm not an expert. I, all I could do is tell you how to keep. I, all I could do is tell you how to be good, right? Um, yeah. So for now, all I could do is tell y'all how to be good. So y'all want to make sure that y'all are utilizing, keeping your energy up, whatever that looks like, right? And God may tell you different things. Like it may, for some people, it may be exercise. Um, be mindful of what it is that you eat. Oh my God, y'all, be mindful of what it is that you eat because what you eat affects your DNA. <laughs> What you eat affects your DNA activations, right? And your DNA activations affect how it is that you are receiving information from the most high, period, okay? So some of us are entrapped, entangled in BS because we're not utilizing our third eye. We're not utilizing our spiritual gifts. We're not utilizing our spiritual gifts. I'm gonna say it like that. We're not utilizing our spiritual gifts because we think that being spiritual ain't cool or... We think that like, oh, I don't got time to worry about that. Oh, it's not that deep. When actually it is that deep because a lot of us are chosen and a lot of us have an assignment on this earth, right? So with that being the case, if you are chosen and you have an assignment, then guess what? You also got a whole bunch of enemies too, right? You got allies because they don't want you to get to where it is that you need to go, right? Because there's always going to be an agenda against what's good, right? So a lot of us didn't realize growing up in our families oh y'all and i want to and I, yo a lot of us didn't realize like the abuse and stuff that we went through is because it was systematically meant from the time that you was a little person till you was a little person from the time you were a little person there was a there was a plan an agenda a systematic plan and agenda to ensure that you did not get to where it is that you needed to go. Now, I'm talking to the great people, okay? I'm talking to people that are great. I'm talking to the people that know that, like, regardless of what it is that I'm going to do. Now, being great doesn't mean famous. Being great doesn't mean being a celebrity. Being great means I'm stepping into my God-given assignment. Why it is that I'm here on this earth? Why it is that I'm sent here? That's, that is the ultimate greatness, right? It's not about money, it's not about status. It's about am I aligned with what it is that I'm supposed to do on this earth? Like, to me, that's the bag, right? Because if you, that's the bag, period. I don't care about your money. I don't care about your clout. I don't care about any of that if you don't have a higher purpose, right? If you don't, if you're not doing it, like, if you just got money, but you don't have no compassion for anything else, like, whatever. So, like, yeah. So, to me, like, being aligned with your God-giving assignment, like, that's the bag, right? And then also, I want to encourage those that have went through abuse because I was talking to God, y'all. Yeah, I talked to God all day. So, and he be telling me stuff. So, I realized that a lot of times, those of us that have experienced abuse young, right? I realized that a lot of people's story is that there may have been other kids in the house, right? Or other, like other kids and, and things like that. And the person who actually is the person that gets abused, a lot of times they go through the guilt of like, why me? Like, did they think that I was weaker or small? Like, you know what I mean? So a part, like, what you went through is bad enough. But a part of the healing process or a part of um, the hurt and the trauma is like, why me like why would they like why would they choose me like why would they do this to me like why me right um like i always say those of us that are came here to do good it seems like a lot of times we are like uh we a little behind in the game um as it relates to like knowing some of the things that go on right and to the attacks on our lives and then god starts to show us right um, so a lot of us that were abused, we struggle with, and at least, hi, baby. Hey, baby. I'm actually talking about abuse as children. And you could probably, uh, let me know if I'm right or wrong, but I think a, a huge part of the trauma and the healing process is that question of like, why me? Like why I was saying in situations where, um, there's other children, because a lot of times abuse happens in our homes, right? In our families. And it's a whole lot of people there. There's other kids around. And sometimes the person that is actually the one that is abused, it's kind of like, well, why did y'all pick me, right? 
And I realized that people that are evil and dark recognize good energy. And sex is a way of siphoning energy. And it's really sick and twisted. I don't even know why God is having me go here. It's really sick and twisted. But if you think about energy, right? And you talk about good energy. And I've been a victim of just like people trying to vampirize off my energy once I started stepping out and doing all of this stuff, right? So even whenever we're young and we're little, we still have that good energy in us, right? And some of us are called and chosen. And I feel like those of us that are called or chosen, like we're always the one that is the the target because we're not the weaker one. We actually are the one with the good energy. Like we're the ones here sent to be the hope of the family, right? So the systematic attack happens on the one that is going to do, I know, right? <sighs> it's deep. I'm trying not to cry now. I've never experienced abuse as a child, but I am an empath, right? And I work in a foster care, I work in a mental health field and I work with children. And a lot of my, and most of my, I work with children in the mental health field. So they've experienced abuse of some sort, either um, physically or sexually, right? So a lot of times I, you know, I'll be trying to figure out like, God, why? And uh, he's been talking to me about certain things. And as I start to get into studying energy and things of that nature, um, it's heavy. People are evil in this world. That's what I want to say. But um, I just, I, I just realized that, um, that there are people that know how to utilize other people's energy for their, for their good, for their benefit, for their profit. And we don't know that. Even those of us in the church, right? We're going up, they're laying hands. Some of us, they were siphoning our gifts. And, and we thought that, ooh, I'm gonna get in trouble for this guy. Cover my, cover my live, Lord. A lot of us, as we were standing in the front getting hands laid on us, they were actually siphoning your energy to power up their gifts, right? So God has really been dealing with me about energy and things of that nature, right? So when we're little, if they can start to fragment our energy, siphon our energy, it's, it is heavy. I know that's why I'm like, that's why I'm like affliction because when I'm home I can deal with it because like I like when God lays stuff on me and I have like these epiphanies and stuff like I be crying y'all I be crying I be like oh my god <laughs> right and as an emotional alchemist right I feel like sometimes I have to take on the pain of other people that may not be able to readily express and release ow Come on, Holy Spirit. So I will express and release. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, yo, I got to tell the people that you was the golden child. And they saw it because they're evil. Like, they're evil. And they seen it. And they seen it. They seen it when you were little. They seen it. They recognized it. You ain't even know yet. You didn't know. They knew. They knew. They knew who had the good energy, right? So a lot of times, that's why you are the one that goes through the abuse. Whether physical, sexual, mental, emotional, it all fragments our energy. Like, think about how you feel after you get into an argument or somebody. You probably feel nauseous, right? Or sick, or your stomach is probably hurting. You probably feel a lot of your emotions here, and that's where your solar chakra is, right? So when we go through those things, they literally siphon, they rip our solar chakra apart. So that's why it's important to harness and bring back in our energy, right? Cutting off ties to people that don't mean us no good. Cutting off ties to people that don't talk to us well and treat us well, right? That's a part of it. Putting boundaries in place, putting emotional boundaries in place, physical boundaries in place, right? That's a way of bringing back your energy, right? Um, there's things on... <laughs> For now, for now, I'm gonna send y'all to YouTube. Um, for now, I'm gonna send y'all to YouTube. But Reiki healing is really good for restoring your energy, healing your energy. 
there are um, videos like frequency music stuff like that that works um crystals utilizing crystals and then to just just really understanding like what actually happened and like why i feel this way so again let me remind y'all so the things that are associated with your solar chakra are your personal power your confidence your creativity it's like your sunshine chakra it's the yellow chakra oh y'all can also eat yellow food and wear yellow clothes all of that stuff matters like all of those things all of those things go into play and the thing is like when we get into organized religion or organized anything um they start to tell us what we can and cannot do what's wrong what's right and things of that nature but then when we start to step into a more one-on-one -on -one relationship with God and just allow him to speak to us and through us through multiple facets he will tell us how to heal ourselves he will tell us how to heal ourselves and he will send the information you know what I mean because I'm a therapist I'm a whole therapist out here y'all but guess what therapy ain't gonna tell you that they ripped up your solar plexus chakra like therapy is not gonna tell you like your stomach be hurting after that because they're actually siphoning your energy and even when people come on here that's why i don't always acknowledge the things that people say and things like that because even like when y'all see people come on here and they say bullshit or stuff like that like all of that shit is an attack on my energy centers right so that's why we have to be boundaried up because people that are evil they don't want to see you happy like they don't want to see you happy right they don't want to see you doing good they don't want to see you knowing who it is that you are, right? So they send attacks, little microaggressions to cause you to feel self-conscious, to cause you to question yourself, to cause you to be like, mm, I'm not sure, to cause you to always be like in a mental conflict, right? Or a brain fog, right? So, um, yeah, you guys. So we want to um, definitely, these are the talking points. Um, I want y'all to get into this energy healing, okay? I want y'all to get into this energy healing for now. And then um, I'm going I'm to keep bringing y'all information on it. Um, check out my albums because I got information on. I haven't posted a lot about energy healing. I need to get back to. I'm going to get back to that. So I'm going to put some more energy stuff up. Okay. I owe y'all that. Um, I've been putting crystal stuff up. So if y'all go to the crystal albums, it'll tell you which crystals work good. Right. Um, for your chakras y'all don't gotta believe me just try it because some of us was raised to believe that you know not really be into this stuff but i believe that god does not want us to limit him because we're only limiting god whenever we be like yo if it's not in the bible then it's not true like god is bigger than the bible he created the whole universe like he created the whole universe so you gonna tell me i can't use crystals from god's ground why that's just silly you want to tell me that i can't go out in nature and sit in and ground and let the and let the negative energy come out of my body and go into the ground like what like why god is just like god is really that dope like y'all know that trees have information like when you sit underneath a tree like trees are full of information like you'll be sitting you just be like how do i know this shit like i just feel trees have information <laughs> so all of that stuff that they probably was like it don't make no sense or or they wanted to tell us it was the devil or whatever the case may be guys we need all this stuff we need the therapist we need um we need holistic health right i'm gonna put it like that we need to care for ourselves in a holistic way. So that means I'm paying attention to what I'm thinking. I'm paying attention to what I'm listening to. Um, I'm paying attention to what I'm giving my energy to. Who I'm giving me my who I'm giving my energy to, right? Because all of that, all that stuff is important, guys. All that stuff is very, very important to like being your best, feeling your best, doing your best, right? Because if you don't feel your best, then you're not gonna be motivated to go out and conquer the world right in simple terms right to keep it like really simple like if your stomach is hurting you don't feel like going out and conquering the world right but if you wake up and you feel great you feel energized you're just like 
Oh my God, what you want me to do today? Right? So I just want to encourage you guys to um, do the things that you need to do so you can wake up like, and you can feel good. And even whenever you have days that you're not feeling good, you are able to put those things into perspective, right? And get to a place where you are feeling good, right? So yeah, you guys, um, I think that's it. I think that's all I got for y'all. So I want y'all to, um, I want y'all to get into this energy clearing and healing. I want y'all to get into this energy healing. That's y'all takeaway. And um, for those recovering from um, narcissistic relationships, I want y'all to realize that y'all have to heal different. I want you to realize that you have to heal different um, because your brain needs to heal, right? The one day I talked about uh, brain fog, right? So like y'all know I like to switch it up. So I had a couple lives where I was, you know, we talked about narcissists. We talked about what they do. We, yeah, we talked about all that stuff, right? And then like, but at the same time, I don't want to talk about narcs all the time. So then we do Queen TV and we talk about love and shit, right? But the reality is a lot of us have dealt with narcissists, right? And a lot of us are recovering from the effects of those types of relationships. So that is what this, uh mental health moment was all about you guys so i want you guys to be um healing your energy um through oh i'm sorry i'm looking at this um thing that came through so i want you guys to be um healing your energy right and um and i want you guys to be healing your brain right by uh doing things that will see i give y'all enough information then y'all gotta go and research it so you want to research things on uh your frontal lobe and like if your executive functioning is affected which it is if you were in a, an abusive relationship of any sort right um but definitely if you were in a narcissistic relationship because those relationships hit different the abuse is different so the healing process is way different um and actually what we go through coming out of the relationship is way different now me on the other hand being in a mental health field i was very well versed right um so although it doesn't you know what i mean like that doesn't affect the pain or or any of that stuff but i was able to go through it and know what it is that i needed to do etc cetera, etc cetera. but i also know how many of us don't know what to do you know what i mean like yeah so Kind of be a light in the dark and let y'all know so y'all not so we can heal fast and get on the loving because the thing is this our narcissistic relationships teach us something very very powerful about self-love once we step into that self-love our relationships going forward are just different and they're better right but that narky relationship mm -mm -mm. <laughs> it requires a level of healing but there's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So yeah, you guys. So as long as y'all tap into y'all self-love, make sure you're doing your energy healing, bringing back all your energy that may have been fragmented from abuse because that's what abuse causes. Gaslighting causes your energies to be fragmented. So I want you guys to call back in your energy. Um, be clearing your energy. Utilizing crystals. Asking God to show you what things you need to do. Um to make sure that you're good fuck everybody else's opinion go straight to god and he'll tell you what to do now he may not speak in an audible voice like those of us like you're gonna learn to be able to hear from god in in whatever way that he comes to you right like he may like he may just let a paper fly and it fall on the table and i look and it say something that i need you know what i mean so i want you guys to take the limits off of god because realize that like he's so amazing and he's big. He's a big God. And he do big things. Like, I'm about to get hyped. Let me calm down. He's a big God and he do big things, right? And he's here to help us. We don't have to struggle through life. Like, we do not have to struggle through life trying to figure it out, coming up on the rough side of the mountain. No, 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 no. We don't have to, guys. We don't have to. So, yeah. So, I just want to encourage you guys to heal your brain fog. Heal your brain after your narcissistic relationships. Look into the things that you need to do because it's definitely a recovery process. My God. Um, and it's going to be a longer process if you're not, you know, if you don't 
know what you're up against, what you're contending with, right? Um, so yeah, you guys, that's all I got for y'all. That's all I got for y'all. So um, I will holler at y'all. What's today? I'll holler at y'all later on in a week. All right. Peace.